My research is in design-focused human-computer interaction. I currently work in across kind of three main areas. So I do work in healthcare, um, and then in other work, um, I'm doing uh, currently working with community-based organisations in Manhattan's Chinatown. And then a third aspect of my work is around um, civic engagement. So I guess as an overarching view of, of what my research is interested in is how we can introduce smart technologies like artificial intelligence responsibly so that they are beneficial to the communities that might use them. Welcome to my office. My work focuses on how digital technologies um, mediate people's everyday experiences. Um, so I look both at how people might use technologies, but because my work is design focused, I guess I spend more of my time looking at opportunities for using digital technologies um, to improve particular aspects of people's lives. I currently work in across kind of three main areas. So I do work in healthcare. Um, and in healthcare, we're looking at um, how people who live with multiple sclerosis um, might use wearable sensors and mobile technologies um, to track things that are meaningful um, about their experiences and about their symptoms and to help them both make personal insights and, and increase their own agency about dealing with these symptoms, but also to share information with uh, clinicians so that their clinicians can get a view of what their life is like outside of the clinic. Um, so for example, we might focus it around walking the dog. Walking the dog can be something that is a really important activity for someone and allows us to create a focused space to study how mobility might change change over time and how outside factors might impact that. So not simply looking at what changes, but starting to help people understand why it might change and therefore what they might be able to do in order to mitigate that for themselves. So give them agency in their own treatment. Um, and then in other work, um, I'm doing uh, currently working with community-based organizations in Manhattan's Chinatown. Um, and we're looking at how we can use digital technologies to monitor environmental impacts. And in this case, it's the environmental impacts of the redevelopment of the Manhattan Detention Center, um, which shares a wall with a building that houses uh, elderly residencies and early learning centers and medical centers. Um, and is severely disruptive in terms of noise, air quality. So we're helping them to monitor the noise and air quality, particularly with the aim of making it more likely that there is responsible construction. Um, and then a third aspect of my work is around um, civic engagement. Um, and so we do work with how uh, communities or how people might use open data, for example, um, how people interact with 311 as a digital system, NYC 311, which is a system for reporting issues and making requests for local government services. Um, so we work with nonprofits and with um, government agencies. So for example, I do work with the Mayor's Office of Data Analytics and with a nonprofit called Beta NYC. Um, and we look at how we can develop tools that help people investigate, help people make use of the, the amounts of data that, being, that are being collected. And we were working with government agencies on this. And the assumption coming into that was that trust and transparency were about information and about providing static information. But through our work in these workshops, we began to understand that both trust and transparency are actually better understood as ongoing processes. Um, and it's not necessarily about making more static information available as making a process through which you can answer questions, respond with information and help people to feel that they are part of these deployments that, that actually responds to ideas of trust and transparency. 
So I guess as an overarching view of, of what I am interested in, what my research is interested in, is how can we take advantage of the opportunities offered by the large amounts of data that are currently being generated from digital technologies and from smart technologies like artificial intelligence, um, how we can introduce them responsibly so that they are beneficial to the communities that might use them. The difficulty is often always in translating the opportunities that technologies might offer so that they become meaningful for people who aren't in a situation where their every day is, is about understanding what these latest technologies are um, and how they might be used and translating what is possible to augment the skills and the experiences that people have um, often as an alternative to kind of automating those away. Um, so we're looking at how we can develop these programs, how we can train people to come into it, support it with new technologies that we might develop, how the rise of artificial intelligence, which is being offered as a way to automate a lot of these processes, is actually potentially transforming in different ways that we might be able to use it to make it easier for people to ask and answer questions.